What are you wearing today? Here I am again in nothing but a turtleneck and stockings. Why? Because we are layering winter outfits today. Full outfits. Let's start off with kind of warmish climate and then slowly move up to super bloody cold. Now, I've never been to Rome, but I'm picturing that it's probably not super cold there in the winter. So I think we will get away with wearing a more party-ish kind of outfit. Tip number one is invest in a turtleneck, especially if it's a bodysuit, because it will make sure that you are warm from, you know, your crotch area all the way up to your neck. So I will be wearing this turtleneck underneath all the four outfits today, just to show you how versatile it is. And since we are in Rome and going to a party, here is tip number two wearing your thinner dresses, even in wintertime. Like this gorgeous dress from Gani, it has super thin material, but if you wear it with a turtleneck or a jumper underneath, you will be able to wear your summer dresses even in winter. I'm really warm underneath here already. Next tip, if you're wearing stockings, to make sure that you don't freeze your bum off, biker shorts underneath. It is winter after all, so to finish off our party look, I would opt for a super warm coat that will look chic, but still keep you warm on the way to the party. And by now, I think all of you know Mr. Bear. Even if it would get chilly in Rome, I will stay warm in this. To finish off the look, a bag and yes, a matching scrunchie. How could I not buy this? And a tip, if you're ever gonna make your own dress, like go to a seamstress or something, why not make a scrunchie or a scarf or something in the same fabric? Just yes, because, why not? Where are we going next? So we're leaving Rome and flying home to London. In London, you can't get away with wearing stockings in the winter time. So I put on proper leggings to stay a little bit warmer. And if the last outfit was the party outfit, this is gonna be the super sporty outfit. To some of you, this might be too extra, but this is probably my favorite outfit. Something that I wear almost every morning when I go to the gym. To keep our bums nice and warm, let's start with a super big, super long sweatshirt. Everything that is long will obviously be much warmer. Besides, a sweatshirt like this you can wear as a dress, but the warmest dress you will ever wear. Look at these babies. They are incredibly colorful for me, but I just really love them. What do you guys think? Are they too much for you? Too much neon? I think it's just a perfect amount of neon. Another sporty feature is the long, lightweight, puffy coat. What I really love about this coat is that it actually buttons up like a shirt. I've never seen this in a coat before, that you have like a proper shirt collar like this. It makes it so much more stylish, don't you think? Hold up. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, Jenny, didn't you say in a previous video that you wouldn't be buying any new coats this winter? Yes, that's true. This coat has actually been gifted to me from Farfetch, which is a global luxury fashion retailer. They stock all the you know, gorgeous brands that we know and love. And on their website, they have something called the Positively Conscious Edit, where they put stuff from the designers and the brands that care more about their ethics in one way or another. Like for instance, uh, be more sustainable or care more for the workers or for the animals. I haven't been paid by Farfetch or anything. It's just they asked if I wanted to choose a few things from this edit so that I can show you guys that there are ethical uh, options even for winter wear. So check out the links in the description. And I have a 10% discount code for you guys. It's called GENFF10. Pro tip for you guys, we are in London now and it might get a little bit windy. So say that you wanna have a scarf, but you don't have a scarf in the right color to match with your coat. Why not use a sweater? A soft knitted sweater like this one is perfect to wear as a scarf, just to get some more color options. And bonus is you can also wear it as a sweater when you get in, if you are in a chilly room. If this outfit isn't extra enough for you yet, there's always Balenciaga. Future Jenny. What do you mean future Jenny? The future is now. And next. Yes, time to leave London and fly back to the motherland, Sweden. Let's go to Stockholm. And in Stockholm, it is way too cold to go out only in leggings. We need to add an extra layer. So let me introduce the big maxi skirt. 
It always surprises me whenever I wear a dress or a skirt in winter how much extra warmth it gives you. I think it's just because you kind of trap air underneath all of this fabric and then it kind of insulates you. Now I don't wear big dresses or maxi skirt all that often because they are a little bit too feminine for my taste normally. But there are a few ways in which you can dress a skirt or a dress a bit less girly to make even us more androgynous people feel at home in skirts. A chunky knit is a way to make it feel a bit more casual. And here's a pro tip for you guys. If you wanna tuck in a big sweater, but you don't want it to make it bulky and bulgy down here, here's how you do it. You just take the little end piece, put it right where the waistband is, tuck it in, and then just fold it over. Ta -da! Staying warm and being super on trend at the same time, yes, please. Knee-high socks with patterns. I guess most of you guys have seen this by now, that leggings, tights or socks with these kind of patterns are super trendy right now. They will help keep you warm. So I'm doubling up on the socks because we are in Stockholm right now and toes get cold in Stockholm. Plus, now we have socks, leggings and socks again. So it's a double layer with the skirt over. How toasty are we gonna be? And to turn down the girliness factor of the skirt even a little bit more, I'm pairing it with chunky Chelsea boots because every winter Chelsea boots will come back. They're such a timeless classic pair of shoes, but also it makes the whole outfit a little bit tougher. There's a lot going on in this look, so I think we need a jacket that is simple, that we keep everything looking minimal and clean and not add any more patterns to this. It's like a scarf and a jacket in one. And it is warm as hell, this jacket. I really, really will enjoy winter coming along to London now. Just thinking early mornings, going to the gym, you don't really wanna go out, in, out of your really warm bed with your warm duvet. This is like bringing your bed to the gym, would you? Final destination. Final destination. We are leaving Stockholm and you're thinking, can it get cold in Sweden? Well, ever heard about Moscow? It gets pretty darn chilly on the streets of Moscow in winter time. So if we have any Moscowers in the audience, please let us know how cold does it get? I'm not even sure I want to find out. So I'm already sweating, but let's get dressed. I'm still wearing my leggings, but that's not gonna cut it. So let's get into another layer, a pair of skinny trousers. These aren't just any trousers. I've had them for at least eight years and they're still perfect. I'm going for a record, David. What is it? I'm gonna wear four layers on top. Well, five if you count the sports bra. And the reason why I'm doing this is to show you that even thin layers of material will add on a lot of heat. So you can use your whole wardrobe, not just your winter wear. Now this coat is already Moscow approved, but if you have a thinner coat that you want to make winter appropriate, a thinner jacket underneath is the way to go. Look at all these layers. We have sports bra, turtleneck, blouse, sweater, jacket and coat. And I can assure you, it is warm. Let's talk about shoes. You maybe didn't know this, but I used to work in a shoe shop. That was my first job. And what I learned is to tell the customers to wear shoes with extra room in winter time. Because you might wanna wear a pair of heavier socks, but even if you don't, just the extra air around your toes will get heated up by your feet and insulate you. Always have wiggle room in winter shoes. But what about your head and your neck? I don't really like wearing hats. It's because my head is so small. So if I wear a hat, it looks like I'm wearing a sleeping bag on top of my head. But if you have a tiny head or you don't want to mess up your hair by wearing a hat, go with the old scarf trick. What do you think, David? Do you think I can pull this off? Oh, yeah, definitely. It looks amazing. I almost feel a little bit like Anastasia from the animated movie in this outfit. Is it Anastasia-esque? <laughs> Very. <laughs> Is it? Why are you laughing? Early 19th century. <laughs> so, we need to have a vote off. Which of these outfits did you like the best? Rome, London, Stockholm or Moscow? Do tell us in the comments. Let's have a little competition. David, which one is your favourite? Uh, I really like the Stockholm one. Yeah? Yeah, what about you? London! London is my favourite. Yeah. I do 
hope that you guys appreciate how sweaty I've become today because I want to share with you. And vegan fur, vegan leather, vegan wool and vegan puffer jacket. You can do it. You don't have to do animal products to stay warm in winter time. I have now proved this once and for all, I think. Ooh, hey, do you know what I've started doing? IGTV. Who knew? So if you want more of the like easy, simple styling tip videos, go check me out on IDTV. I'm having so much fun over there. And give me a like if you like this one and click subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will see you already next week. Have a happy week and see you guys very, very soon. Piss piss and hey doll. You're going to see the Mona Lisa. The or Mona Lisa. People are talking and laughing Smiling. to each other. People are having fun. And then you look at the uh, fashion week. You're looking at the front row of people. And it's like, there's people talking to each other and stuff, but n there's not a smile, not a smile. anywhere. Yeah. Or it's like, it's the most serious thing. Everyone just looking around and 